Hi everyone and welcome to my review of John Ford's The Grapes of Wrath in 1940. Here is the Blu-ray and of course, um, you know, I, I've kind of you know, showed this off um, in my latest update on Blu-ray um, Blu update. And basically, yeah, um, you know, I got this the other day, the other week, and I um, really wanted to re-watch it again, you know, because I first saw it, you know, back in um, August last year. Um, now, this film, of course, uh, very, very famous, very iconic. Um, very, very acclaimed, you know, it's acclaimed as one of the greatest films of all time. Basically, critically, you know, this is, um, you know, untouchable, um, and it's actually in the top 250 on IMDb. So, you know, it's an all-round loved film. You know, um, quite a few people say it's one of John Ford's best. Um, you know, The Searchers and Liberty of Alliance usually take uh, the top spot for that. But yeah, I saw this back in August, um, and yes, was absolutely floored um, by this film. You know, it really, you know, um, I could not um, really put into words what I thought, you know, about this film. You know, really did um, love it, and it was thoroughly moving. Um, a wonderful, you know, human tale. Um, basically, this family um, in Oklahoma, um, you know, these farmers, um, they're forced over the film um, quite early on, but yeah, they're family of the Jodes, um, and they're forced to move, um, you know, it's during the Great Depression, you know, the Dust Bowl kind of stuff, um, and they're forced to move, um, and they go to they take a trip to California to look for work um, and just prosperity, you know, in general, um, you know, and actually improve their lives and, yeah, survive, you know, it's, it's kind of a, a road trip film at times um, and then they, they come across these different camps um, where they kind of, you know, find um, a respite, you could say, but there's also, there's other things going on with the police and everything and, yeah, basically it follows this uh, family of the Jodes, um, Henry Fonda, um, plays um, Tom Jode, uh, he's the protagonist of the film and, of course, you know, we've got Jane Darwell, um, who plays the mother, um, and, you know, she, she won an Oscar for this, um, and, yeah, basically, um, John Ford, um, got uh, Best Director, um, Oscar for this, you know, won two Oscars, and was nominated for a few more, um, including Best Actor for Henry Fonda, um, and, wow, you know, in this film, um, Henry Fonda, now, this is a very, very subtle film in general, you know, most of the time, especially the opening, um, 15 minutes, and then, you know, the last, the second half of the film, um, but yes, basically, you know, this film, very, very, very subtle. Um, the performance um, is in tune with that. Um, now, this character of Tom Joad um, is probably among the greatest in cinema. Um, I think he is just such a good character, the way he's written. Um, the performance by um, Henry Fonda is absolutely pitch perfect. Um, a wonderful performance, monumental, and it seems like he doesn't even need to try. He's that good. Um, it's very, very with ease it seems like, but it's a very, very hard um, role to play. And, you know, definitely, um, you know, Oscar worthy, you know, and um, maybe I wouldn't agree with, you know, because there's another film in that year that came out and I would probably have given the Oscar to someone else, but yeah, you know, this is definitely Oscar Oscar worthy, you know, and um, basically I, I, if he got the Oscar, um, you know, I'd be kind of, yeah, you know, that's deserved because this this performance is, is just absolutely stunning, um, you know, and it's very, very, very um, different to kind of, um, a lot of other, uh, you know, the, the, the protagonists in uh, John Ford films. I've only seen three at the moment, The Searchers, Liberty Valance, um, and this, of course. But he's very, very different to the other, these other two films, you know, the protagonist, um, and just the whole film in general. Um, this, of course, came after Stagecoach, um, which I've not seen, and it's one of the most acclaimed films, again, um, you know, a year after. And then he would, of course, would make some other films, you know, in the 40s, um, Young Mr. Lincoln, um, you know, My, uh, My Diamond Clem Clementine, um, you've also got how Green Was My Valley, um, you know, and then he would have gone on to make, you know, his most acclaimed The Searchers um, in the 50s, you know, and then of course Liberty Valance, um, most say is probably one of his, at least one of his last great films, um, but just look at that, you know, in the 30s, the 40s, 50s and 60s, he kind of was just, you know, on form in terms of, um, you know, popularity acclaim, um, and yeah, this is just, for me, this is an absolutely flawless film, um, you know, I think in the humble beginnings, you know, the first couple of shots um, even established this film, you know, the tone, um, it's beautiful shots um, in this film. Now, the way John Ford, you know, directs this film um, is absolutely masterful, um, you know, at times, you know, a bit minimalist, um, but not too much, you know, not overall, you know, it's very, very, you know, kind of overwhelming, um, but there's, there's not too much camera movements, there is a lot of um, cuts, and of course a lot of fades. Um, now, this film, you know, the way it's edited and everything, it's just perfect. Um, but yes, you know, the first uh, couple of shots even, just, just Henry Fonda walking through, um, you know, the crossroads and everything. 
And basically you learn very early on that he's just come out of um, jail, uh, he's on parole, you know, for, for killing this guy, um, but self-defense. Um, and yeah, you know, just it, the way his character is introduced um, could not be better. You know, I, I straight away, I got invested, you know, I got invested in this character. Um, felt a bit of sympathy for him, you know, he's a very, very um, interesting character, you know, thoroughly compelling and, um, you know, just how much layers this character has. And then he comes, comes into contact with these other characters very early on. Um, one of them being Casey, who's quite, a, uh, you know, a big character in the film, a former preacher who's kind of um, lost faith. Now, of course, this uh, this film tells um, you know about the the Great Depression, um, and it does so masterfully, um, and you know, it really just has all the emotion, the power, you know, the rawness, um, all the you know the things of poverty, um, starvation, um, all this kind of stuff, and um, just this very very um, you know, kind of in you know, a beaten down. Um, kind of um, feel, you know, that the would have given, um, is perfectly portrayed here. And, um, you know, this character of, you know, Casey um, is one of the characters that really embodies that, you know. Um, he goes along you know, for the ride um, with the family eventually. And, yeah, basically, after the half an hour mark, it becomes kind of a road trip film. Um, and then, you know, after the hour mark or so, um, you know, they start to you know, um, actually settle down in the camps. And um, that's when the film's at its best for me, um, you know, especially the first camp. And yes, you really, um, this film gets better and better mostly, um, I think. It is so wonderful, you know, the kind of, um, as I say, very, very subtle, you know, at times, um, a bit restrained. Um, but yes, um, the power in this film, you know, the emotion um, is indescribable for me. You know, I think um, I just, as well, the kind of the joy of it all, um, when the family are all together early on, um, you kind of, once you've seen the film, you know, you get towards the end of it, you look back at this and kind of, cherish these moments even though they're still you know of course they're in poverty and everything just this you know these scenes where they're at a table um you've got the grandpa it's very very outgoing um and then of course you know you, you've got um the rest of the family the mother you know um, how that a relationship between her and, and the son of tom uh, is established it, it is really really key for the rest of the film um it's just wonderful um you know when you talk about you know human films um this is just thoroughly human throughout the entire picture. Um, it really, really, you know, um, it moved me beyond words, really. Um, it is very, very dark, um, and it is very, you know, unflinching. Um, this does not stray, you know, from showing um, a lot of stuff, you know, and, you know, actually, it's very, it's a couple of moments where they're quite graphic and disturbing, you could say. Um, you know, people are getting shot and everything, and the way it's done, just the subtlety of it, um, and just the way that, you know, people starvation is portrayed um stuff like that um you know the children and stuff um in the camps it's really really um you know very moving you know and it's just it's done with the most uh, most sincerity um it really it really is a powerful film and um you know really you know he goes he goes to town on this john ford you know in the way that he portrays all these you know kind of um issues um it's a social commentary of course you know the messages of the film um it really it uses this kind of um the Great Depression, everything as a backdrop, really to kind of, um, for me anyway, um, just um, show how important family is, um, the power of family, you know, and hope, um, and how you can find that in there. And of course, it is, it's quite a hopeless moment, you know, you could say at times, it's very, very um, dark, um, and but it always has, you know, just around the corner, some sort of hope, you know, some sort of light, and um, the way they keep going, very, very inspirational. Uh, the mother is one of the best characters in cinema, um, you know, um, and... Performance, you know, by Jane Darwin is, is absolutely brilliant. Um, it gets better and better, you know. The more emotion is required, um, the more she kind of gives without going, you know, too far. Um, it's just wonderful, you know. And um, I loved, you know, all the characters, really. Um, I think this film, you know, the journey of it all, it's an adventure film, of course, you know, at the times. Road trip, um, even though, you know, it's very, very dark, and it is, you know, it's about um, Great Depression and everything. Um, you know, and their struggle, um, and even some of the script, you know, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a kind of um, monologue um, with just a side character, um, you know, around the, before the hour mark, when they're still on the road, and uh, he talks about how his, you know, kids starved and everything like that, and um, wow, you know, I, d I didn't think, you know, this would, you know, really be, it's rare to see this in a film, um, really, um, this kind of dialogue, you know, in a kind of family film, you could say at times, you know, just the way it is. And, um, you know, John Ford, you know, you know, the way he kind of, you know, um, does this is, is, is more dark than anything he's done, you know, and The Searchers has its dark moments, um, so does um, Valance, but it's more, 
uh, more melancholic, you know, kind of end of an era kind of dark. Um, uh, the Searchers has some dark moments um, for sure, but this one really is the darkest film you know I've seen in the three. You know, and it's just, um, but it's not a you know thoroughly depressing one. Um, you know, and I do think The Searchers is a better film. Um, I prefer it definitely. But this one, you know, this one, you know, Valance, very, very close. I'm not going to reveal which I prefer. Um, but yes, you know, if you've not seen this film, um, it's a film you have to see, you know. Um, and, you know, not everyone will probably like it um, or love it. But I do, you know, I think it's a film that, you know, it gets under your skin. Um, you know, I loved the joyous scenes early on. I loved, you know, some, some really good, great comedy in the film. Um, I just loved, you know, this whole family, their trip, um, their journey. And um, just how, how spiritual this film really is um, and becomes uh, much more so in the second half of the film. Um, but, you know, even the very, very subtle at times moments where people, you know, um, things happen, you know, throughout the film. One or two people get, you know, picked off, um, you know, along the way. And um, the way it's handled, you know, the way death is handled, um, it's just immensely powerful. Um, the value of family um, and kind of, you know, the fact that there's always tension, you know, in some way, there's an atmosphere to this film, um, you know, Tom Joad is, you know, kind of a character who's kind of always on the run, um, and, you know, he has to, of course, he has to protect his family as well, um, so it's just always compelling in that sense, um, the script is one of the best I've ever seen in a film, um, you know, it's just some of the best cinematography I've seen, it's on my 100 favourite uh, cinematographies, you know, in, in films, 100 best, um, the editing could not be better, you know, the way that they the um the time is, is shown you know to pass um you know just even the journey you know with the van different um just masterful here um the way uh, john ford directed this uh, again with ease but it seems like but of course it's just so well um directed um mind blown um the use of music you know red river valley um it's just a, you know when i listen to it now you know it really gets me emotional um you know the way it's used here is it, it, absolutely stunning um Wow, you know, it really does um, give a lot of emotion, um, and it's there's a certain shot, you know, involving you know Henry Fonda, just after after one of the most powerful um, pieces of dialogue, you know, among the most powerful in, in film, um, and then you see Henry Fonda, um, that shot um, with the music comes on. It's one of the most powerful, you know, things I've ever seen. Actually, um, this film just really um, blew me away the first time. It's actually even better this time, um, you know, I think, if you've not seen it, you know, acting, um, cinematography, writing, directing, um, music, you know, it's all perfect. Um, the themes, you know, that are kind of explored here um, could not be, you know, done in a better way. You know, it has its hopeful moments, um, but it is very, very dark at times and uh, unflinching. You know, John Ford, you know, does not, does not stray, you know, from even, you know, when he doesn't have to show too much. Through the dialogue, you know, through you know the, the feeling of it all, the, the atmosphere, um, it's just all there, you know. And the fact that you know John Ford um, was one of the best visual storytellers um, in cinema, you know, he just clearly gets across um, his points um, through just a couple of shots, you know. Um, instantly, your brain kind of um, he knows what he's trying to say. He, he was that good, at, you know, kind of you know um, in the way that he kind of um, just portrayed um, things visually, you know, it really. Um, a simplicity to it, um, but a mastered one. Uh, he's one of the best at that, the simplicity of cinema. This film is an absolute masterpiece. Um, you know, does it get full marks? Of course it does from me. Um, you know, not everyone, you know, will love this film. Um, I do, and I think, you know, it is very, very dark. And, you know, it's... I have seen better films. Um, you know, it's not in my top 100. But it is one of the finest um, I've ever seen. Um, the way it moves me. The kind of hope in it, you know, some really lovely moments, um, warm moments, it's a thoroughly warm film, full of heart, um, sense of wonder, um, the, the use of shadows and everything, you know, and, and Tom Joad is just one of the best characters in cinema, um, what a character, you know, and, um, you know, there's something, you know, kind of unflinching about his character at times, but he's just such a good character, he's very, very likeable, someone you can kind of, um, at least I could um, root for him. And of course, um, you know, it, it's just so well portrayed, you know, by Henry Fonda, um, one of the best performances I've ever seen. Um, yeah, of course, it's, it's not, um, you know, in my top 100, but it does get a plus tier of my 100%. And it is a tier three, you know, and um, that means it's one of the best um, films I've ever seen. Um, 
it really is a, a, a stunning film, magical film, you know, full of wonder. Um, I mean, when you talk about human films, um, this is, you know, one of the most human, um, you know, it just, what it says about life in general, life and death, um, yes, it explores the Great Depression, you know, with um, sincerity and really um, in realistic ways, but kind of, um, it is kind of, you know, more backdrop to kind of just explore, I, I suppose, the, the kind of value of family um, and, you know, um, Yes, just just um, as John Ford done, you know, in, in, in the films I've seen from him, really they are about you know family um, and just kind of on the soul. Uh, and you know, this one really is a spiritual film. Um, you know, it really is, um, and you know, just one that really really elevates um, this whole journey. It, it's just masterful from start to finish. Um, not a single flaw, um, really, for me at all. Um, I think it's a monumental film. You know, definitely one of the best I've seen. Um, you know, I wouldn't put it in the top 10 or top 100 even, but, you know, it really, it is a perfect film for me. Um, one of the top 200 I've seen, definitely. Um, the Searchers is better for me, um, you know, I prefer it. Um, but this one, you know, really, um, is an absolute majestic masterpiece. Um, if you have not seen this film, you know, I would not, you know, recommend this, you know, more than I have. You know, it really is um, absolutely stunning. And Blu-ray, of course, as well, it was wonderful. Um, Wow, you know, um, just just perfect in every sense. The music, um, everything they directed. Wow, you know, this film is absolutely stunning. Um, perfect for me, you know. And um, yeah, I, th I think of course um, this and Valance very very close. Um, the Searchers is for me still the, the best um, John Ford film I've seen, and probably will be, you know, the best that I ever see. Um, but has to be expected, you know. That's in my top hundred. Um, so yes, thanks for watching my review. Um, I'll probably be reviewing um, Liberty Valance. Um, over the next week for sure you know so look forward to that and um you know one day when i see all the john fords which i really am desperate to do you know it's just a case of you know um, money and stuff and you can't buy them all all in one but i will be picking them up um i'll be doing a ranking of course as i always do eventually with, with you know directors um john ford is just essential you know he's one of the best um very very inspirational um visual director you know um for sure and one that really um you know th this film is full of passion full of heart and it's a perfect, perfect film from me and uh, highly recommend it. 100% plus, tier 3. Thanks for watching.